Hey guys, I am Game Advisor, and today we'll be going over 10 things that you need to know in Sons of the Forest. First up is how do you actually get Virginia? And if you don't know who Virginia is, she's that three-legged lady you probably saw in the trailer. In order to get her, you're basically just going to have to wait around for a little while until she shows up. I do encourage people to be in warmer climates because she does tend to like to go to those warmer climates, so you'll probably find her faster. However, you can still find her in the colder ones, it's just less common. Once she does appear, you'll simply want to sheath your weapon with G and then just kind of stand there until she gets close to you. At that point, she will likely get scared and start to back away and then run. Do not chase her and do not approach her. At this point, you just want to let her go and wait till she comes back. Eventually she will, and then you'll just want to let her keep doing this process over and over again, and then one day she'll finally decide she's not scared of you anymore and just kind of walk around near you. You'll know you've succeeded because you'll be able to interact with her by holding E, just like you can with Calvin, and then you'll now have her unlocked. Keep in mind, she's extremely useful because you can equip her with weapons, and she will help you defend not only your base, but also yourself just out in the world. P.S. She also has infinite ammo, which is no joke super powerful. Number two on our list is a pretty simple one, and that's that you should be burning bodies in order to gather bones. Bones do have a number of uses, but their primary use as far as progression purposes goes is going to be crafting armor. So if you want to get a lot of bones, all you need to do is make a campfire, grab some bodies, and toss them on the fire and let them burn. After a few seconds, you'll be able to collect a bunch of bones and be able to now use them for whatever your bone needs are. Coming in at number three is that you want to use zip lines as they will save you a ton of time once you set them up, whether it be just for moving yourself around or for moving logs. Yes, you can attach logs to these things and send them down the zip line in order to save you the time it would take to walk them all back. If you don't know how to get a zip line, you just need the rope gun, which I'm not going to spoil for you here how to get, so make sure to watch our other videos if you want to know about that. Number four is that whenever you're using a sled, you will take no fall damage, and that does mean zero. So you can jump off a cliff, you can go ahead and ride down a mountain, you can do whatever you want, and as long as you have that sled underneath you, you are not going to take fall damage and you are totally safe. Alrighty, we are halfway there now at number five, which is that whenever you see a boat motor being held by a giant, you want to make sure you shoot at it from a distance, preferably with a firearm, as as soon as you hit it, it will explode and completely annihilate the giant, as well as anything standing nearby. So just be careful yourself too, as it can take you out. P.S. If you shoot them on the ground, they explode too, so be careful of that. Can you like cut up the motor? No. No, I don't think so. Ow! Yes, you can! Number six is that you can use your extra grenades to go ahead and cut down a huge amount of trees in a very short period of time. This is great as all you really need to do is just toss a grenade near a tree and it explodes and knocks the tree down. Not a lot to this one. Number seven is that whenever you look down and press the R button, you'll be able to change your weapon's ammo type. This is especially useful for the bow, which does have a lot of different ammo types as you progress through the game, but can also be used for things like the shotgun, which has two different ammo types itself. Eighth is that you want to make sure to constantly check for skin pouches. If you don't know what a skin pouch is, these are little pouches that can be found on cannibals and will give you a small amount of rewards for picking them up and unpacking them inside your inventory. These will usually have things like duct tape, batteries, coins, and all sorts of other little knickknacks which can be useful for you on your journey. We're almost finished now with number nine, and that's that you can dig holes with your shovel in just about any random spot and find a whole bunch of different little rewards. These can be things like bones, coins, watches, cans of food, and all sorts of other things. One little bonus tip for you though, make sure that you actually look for marked graves as those are likely going to have a coffin in them which will give extra good rewards. And our final tip for you is probably one of, if not the most useful tip in this entire video, and that is that items respawn whenever you reload the game. This will be incredibly useful for you as you progress through the game and need more things like ammunition or ink or whatever else it is you happen to want, but is especially useful when it comes to getting firearms because you can get firearms more than one time. And that means that you can give Virginia a firearm and then go and get that same firearm a second time for yourself so that now you are both locked, loaded, and ready to take out some cannibals. Now, if you guys like this video, make sure to like and subscribe as it lets us know that you guys want to see more Sons of the Forest content. But either way, I want to give a big shout out to our Platinum and Above channel members, which include Caustic FPV, Jonathan S, Gerald89, Jim Phillips, and AZ Blackbird. I'm Game Advisor, and I'll see you next time.